Hey guys, Lake Fork Guy, Greg West. We are here at the end of June, coming into July. Wanted to give you guys a little bit of a fishing report at the first of this month, and I wanted to come back at the end of this month, update y'all a little bit on how I'm catching them, and give y'all a little bit of demonstration here at the Lake Fork Resort Pool on uh, different techniques and styles and baits, and what I'm fishing and how I'm fishing them. So, first of all, the number one key bait for me has been a B&M three quarter ounce football jig. Uh, I'm putting a green pumpkin trailer on the back. Uh, the crawdad color has been the best for me, and I'm fishing it a couple different ways. Uh, I'm getting out here on these road beds, main lake points, humps. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm making a long cast with this football jig, and I'm getting it down there, and I'm either doing one or two different things. I'm either kind of just crawling it and slightly hopping it across the bottom, or what we do, what we call stroking a football jig. And what a stroking a football jig is you're really violently giving that jig a couple big violent uh, hops. What that does is that fish is down there and he's looking at that jig and let's just say he's not quite in the mood to eat but he sees that and you get down there and you stroke that thing a couple times hard off the bottom that fish is down there and he looks at it and you can get a good reaction bite from him. Uh, so stroking a football jig in the summertime here at Lake Fork will definitely get you bit. Make sure you're doing that your next trip out here. Uh, another bait that's been really key for me while I've been out here is a uh, Magnum Shaky Head. Uh, I'm throwing a 3 8 ounce shaky head and I'm putting uh, you know any type of finesse worm that you like on the back. Uh, I just I like throwing something a little bit better. Clients and myself can feel the bottom a lot better. I'm throwing it in the same type areas. Uh, I'm just throwing it out there on the bottom, giving it a few giving it a few seconds to hit bottom and I'll just slowly shake it, hop it, move it, drag it right across the bottom. Uh, one of those baits where if you're not getting a good bite on the football jig, you can throw this finesse shaky head out there and trigger a few big bites while you do it. Um, as well as the shaky head uh, and the football jig, a little swim bait has also come into play. Uh, you know, b &M makes a really good, uh, the Thunder Shad, you can put it on a, on a big wobble head and throw it to the bottom. Uh, and I'm throwing this swim bait down there to the bottom, making a very long cast, letting it hit the bottom. I reel it four or five times really fast and then kill it. And make sure you're keeping your line tight on the fall. A lot of times they'll hit it on the bottom. Uh, so the swim bait is also another big key bait that you need to have tied on this summer here at Lake Fork. Uh, last but not least, the drop shot. Uh, and believe it or not, I've actually been catching some big ones on the drop shot lately. Uh, you know, the typical Lake Fork Zoom tomato has been really good for me. Uh, with the drop shot, a lot of people think you just throw it out there and just kind of dead stick it. Well, I'm kind of working it almost like a football jig as well. I throw it down there at the bottom, I'll let it sink, and I'll start giving a little bit of slack, and I'll hop it and shake it and kill it. Uh, a lot of the times that's how they like to eat it. If not, I'll kind of do a slow drag and hop it off the bottom. Uh, so these are a couple baits I'm throwing right now out here at Lake Fork. Uh, everything you see here, you can come get at Lake Fork Resort. Hope this guy's helps you out on your next trip out to Lake Fork.